Okay guys, it's Ross, so I finally went ahead with it. Got myself a Mora. This is the Mora um, 840MG. Very, very good knife for what I can see of it. Um, one thing I have noticed about it is I've had it for about a week now. Um, just thought I'd test it a bit before I made this video. As you can see, it's a uh, there's just got a plastic sheath, uh, nothing fancy. Clips in there, nice and tight. There's a drainage hole at the bottom. Um, yeah, drainage hole at the bottom. Now onto the blade. Um, the tang, it's not um, full tang. The tang comes to about um, there on the knife. Doesn't run all the way through, but on another knife where you don't any other knife where you'd have a weakness there um, the bot underneath the knife I don't know if you can see it is slightly bridged um, so that disperses the weight throughout the handle sorry the pressure throughout the handle um, I've tried to do some batoning with it and it seems to have held up quite well and done a good job um, you might notice I went for the stainless steel model if I could just don't think I catch the light, but no, I went for the stainless steel model. Um, this is because in England, obviously, we get a lot of wet weather. So, and especially in like a bug out or a survival situation, I really don't want to be having to take oil and stuff to clean it. One thing that I was aware of is that the um, stainless steel knife is a bit harder to uh, sharpen when you need to sharpen it. Now, just one complaint I'd like to make. Let me step back on. A lot of people have complained about um, being problems down the back of the knife, um, where they've ground up. I mean, on this knife, there's not any problems like that. A few scratches, but not much. Uh, seems to have scrat. Seems to there's some scratches. What you can't might be able to see is you can see those little bits of a. Uh, I'm trying to hold this still. It's got the macro lens on it. It doesn't focus very well. Um, little chunks of blade out of there and that's just from everyday use opening up boxes and stuff another complaint is that I don't know whether you can see that there's this little um, bit of plastic that sticks out and that um, sticks in your fingers that was bigger before and I just filed it down but no for a um, 15 quid knife not bad at all so yeah, I think it's a very good bush knife um, just for people who are getting started and I've heard people on the internet compare these to um, more expensive knives or uh, well, a lot more expensive knives like £200 knives and say they're basically the same but that is, like I said that is my only complaint the um, blade the wear on the blade that's happened in a short place of time um, I've done some batoning with it seems to do quite a good job well actually a very good job when it comes from the factory it is absolutely razor sharp so um but obviously it's deteriorated over time well actually over the week or so I've had it but no it, and there's also one other thing is there's a uh, thing there I don't know if you can see it but it's um so you've got something for your thumb to push against as you pull the knife out which is quite handy now another complaint sorry I just realized how many plates there are but no this is the last one um this knife on the back obviously it's mounted like that with a thumb clip to be worn on the right so if you're right handed that's fine if you're left hand you clip it around this way and then you've got your knife clipped in let me just clip it in so if you're left handed and you've got it mounted on your left side the more will be the wrong way around. I don't believe they do left-handed models. So um, that is probably the only complaint I've got. Light blade's four inches and the uh, handle's about four and a half inches, so it's nine and a half inches overall. But no, the, so this knife will be going in my bug out bag. Um, and I just got it basically as a starter um, fixed blade knife, just to cover me until I've got money to buy a more expensive one. But I mean, with the job it's been doing at the moment uh, I won't be surprised if I don't get another one for a little while so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye